Just got these in not too long ago. Four point uh, seatbelt harness. Working on installing the uh, mounting brackets. Well, I'm doing a little mock up on the sides. I had a feeling that it might be too tight in here. It seems to be okay. I don't think I'll have to have any more ideas of widening this thing. I'm going to put a crash bar though right across here on both sides, I believe. I can take them off to put the body panel on. But I didn't have any protection here in this area and I saw that it's very vulnerable. I didn't want to get my uh, arms and chest crushed. Although this isn't a real substantial bar, it's enough I think to withstand a small blow. So I've been thinking about this and instead of having a canopy going all the way and including the windscreen I'm gonna back off and put a roll bar right here I'll be able to step down here slide in that way I'll have a lot more protection around my head in case of a front-end accident and uh, then I could put clear plastic here so this was a lot wider than this break, this bend break, so I had to make a new one. Now here I am bending it again, and I didn't have a full length piece, so here I've scabbed a few pieces together. Could be mayhem. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Get out of the way. Alright, here we go. See if I got the radius right. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Nailed it! Okay, now I'm starting to work on the fairing. Again, those parts that used to be steel are now aluminum, much lighter. String finally settled down. I'm working on putting a deck here my storage area cut out a piece of cardboard did all my measurements threw it on there even threw tape around the edges to get the tight fit so we're going to cut it out on coroplast now coroplast i know you're going oh and they're going to melt well maybe we'll give it a try though oh man i need to get new felt pans this is crazy let's see yeah. The outside, right? Yeah, the outside. So, yeah, these seat belts are kind of wild. I mean, <sighs> Pretty heavy duty. So once you're buckled in, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> so the funny part was, I was out testing it out the other day and I went to reach for the key and I can't even grab the key. So uh, yesterday I moved it over here. Yeah. Yeah, so I added braces here. Now this is very well solid and contained. Again, I think I'll come out through the windshield here. Just have this kind of like a half cylinder that'll pop up. What I'm going to do about the floor here, I'm not 
not sure. I may just keep it open for ventilation and um, oh, just ease of use. Uh, it would cut down on the aerodynamics, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. For now, I'll probably just have it open. Put this crossbar here. Um, next, I'm going to work on a little enclosure area of the coroplast to hold in all the wiring here. And there might be even some storage area from the top of the frame up in that little enclosure. We'll see. It's perfect but that's pretty damn close so as you can tell I've favored keeping the gas tank here the way it is um, the aluminum gas tank I had that was going to put over here had some advantages a I would have had more storage area B I would have had that probably uh, the gas tank contained outside of the uh, cockpit area um, but I, I don't know, it's here. Problem is, I've got it right above the motor, just like you would in any motorcycle, but now I've got this thing here, and I've got these lips under here. I will have some vent holes along the sides here for the heat to escape, kind of like I did on my first trike. But will that create enough heat to be cooking the gas? I don't know. Kind of like a pot sitting over a burner, if, if you will. Uh, I got to be real careful. Hopefully I can get this fan working, the one that I've got mounted on the side of the motor. Every time I run it, it seems to find its way loose. It's just a little Allen screw in there. Um, and I now just added some, um, oh, what's that stuff that you use to keep nuts from coming off? Hopefully that'll work. So once I created this aluminum frame, I realized I didn't have any actual support holding it up. So I kind of looked at the uh, rear legs holding up the gas tank and decided to make some little takeoffs from there. And you can see it there. And that'll hold up enough weight, at least from what I'm uh, planning on putting in the back. Safety tip, always have a fire extinguisher at the ready. Mine was eight feet away, thankfully, when I crossed the little uh, hose clamp that was holding the battery down under the positive lead, and it got stuck there. And I watched that hose clamp turn bright red, watched the battery catch fire. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't working. <laughs> I got it put out, but I'll tell you what, that was a little scare because, you know, your battery's on fire, and there's a gas tank right there. So anyway... <sighs> I gotta be more careful anyway. Uh, hopefully next week I'll have a lot of the body on. But until then, be safe. Bye-bye.